welcome to your second lesson on top-down design approach for problem solving and design. So we have seen the need for problem solving and design in the previous lesson. We need some form of designing to understand how a computer system is built up and how it works. Therefore we divide it into subsystem. This division can be shown using top-down design to produce a structure diagram and to demonstrate the modular construction of the system. As such, the top-down design method is a technique used to break down a problem into other sub-problems to allow a modular construction of the whole system. So what is first of all the top-down design? Top-down design it's a problem-solving method in which we break down a computer system into a set of subsystems. Then we further break that subsystem down into smaller subsystems until each subsystem must perform a very single action. Now the effectiveness of the top-down design approach is as such. It helps to provide a solution to a problem, since each part of the problem is broken down into smaller and more manageable problems. Since each of the problem is doing only one task, it becomes more manageable to code, to design and to test. As such, this process of breaking down into smaller subsystem is also called stepwise refinement. When large computer systems are being developed, this means that several programmers can work independently to develop and test different subsystems for the same subsystem at the same time. This reduces the development and testing time. A top-down design approach technique where we take a problem and break it down into smaller sub-problems which does a single task will give rise to a structure diagram. A structure diagram is a diagrammatic form of top-down design. It shows the design of a computer system in a hierarchical way, with each leveling giving a more detailed breakdown of the system. For example, we have taken a look to the Alarm app earlier. If I'm using this top-down top -down approach, the alarm app will be broken into several other modules until the set alarm is broken down into two other modules. Now at the bottom level you're going to see I have the module set time. Now set time does only one task which is set the time. Now turn alarm on and off is one functionality which can go on and off. Let's take a look to an evaluation exercise. June 2017, paper 21, question number 3. We have a satellite navigation system. It works using destination details entered by the user. So the user will input the detail. Now the details being inputted can be either a new destination or chosen from a previously saved destination. Now these are the two different ways if you take a look where the user can enter the detail. Now the satellite system has another functionality which is to output direction to the destination in either visual map or a list of direction. Here you can see we have two different methods, the map itself and the list. So the satellite system is a main system. We have the input destination which is subsystem of the above system which is satellite navigation system as such one is input destination therefore the other one will become output direction and the two methods for input destination can be obviously either new destination or chosen from previously saved destination so these are systems, like you have seen, which may be broken down into other subsystems. 
and this is the answer of this exercise we have output direction at the same level of input destination 